G'day guys, how's it going? My name is CJ. We live in a world where we could probably find a smart version of pretty much anything we could think of. Smart fridge, smart TVs, smart shoes, smart phones, smart watches, you name it. Typically the main way of turning something into a smart object is to give it a little bit of connectivity. And usually this is in the form of Bluetooth so that it can connect with your smartphone or tablet and use it as a gateway to access the internet. As it turns out, applying this same principle to bog standard products from everyday life can turn them into really great and useful smart products too. And items like this new product that I've got from Orbit are a great example of this. For those who don't know, Orbit are an Australian company that specialise in producing Bluetooth tracking devices, kind of similar to things that you'd see coming from Tile or Tracker. So classically, their products have been aimed at people who keep losing their keys or belongings and built all this functionality into a package that is both attractive and elegant. Today, I've got a new product called the Orbit Card, and as you could probably imagine, it's a slim, card-sized Bluetooth tracker that could fit in any bog-standard wallet including this one right here, and that should give everyone the ability to keep track of their all-important cards and cash. In a way, turning this into a smart wallet. How does it do? Let's take a look. So this is primarily pre-production hardware, so the packaging could change before release. But effectively, what the card will come with is a charging clip, and that's it. The card is rated to have up to three months of battery life, which seems slightly limited, but that's why we have a simple charging solution that is USB compatible. An absolute godsend, considering most other solutions don't have any real charging solutions, meaning that you'd either have to send the depleted product back to the company, or you'd have to go through a big rigmarole to change the battery yourself. So the setup process is nice and simple. You download the accompanying app from either the App Store or the Play Store, and if you choose to create an account, all that's left to do is to hold the power button and bang, you're connected. So the UI is pretty basic. It gives you quick access to information like the battery life of the card, proximity to the card, and also its location roughly on a map. Here you're given the ability to ping the card if you've lost your wallet, or you can actually have access to the very basic camera features where you can actually use the card as a camera remote. This feature overall actually works quite well, though sometimes you might have to hit the trigger button twice. So I feel this is probably just a software issue that can be resolved with a software update. So another feature that comes with the Orbit card is not only the ability to find your wallet, but you can also use the wallet or the card to find your phone if you've lost that instead. And inside the app, you're given the ability to customize these features so that you can customize what kind of ringtone plays when you hit the button. And I find this reversibility a pretty cool feature to have, especially if you're someone who easily loses their stuff inside your house. So if you lose your phone, you could easily find it with the card, and if you lose your wallet, you can easily find it with your phone. Another great advantage to this particular feature is that if you've turned your phone onto silent, it actually overrides this feature and will still play at full volume when you've lost it. Then if you're someone who's completely ignorant and you quite often walk out of the house without even thinking about your phone or your wallet, then there's actually a separation alarm built in so that it detects if the Bluetooth tracker has either lost connection with the phone or has gone too far of a distance away and both objects will start beeping. That way it will remind you not to leave home without either your wallet or your phone. Unless you end up walking out without your phone and your wallet, in which case Orbit has you covered with their new crowdfinding feature, which is something that we've probably already seen with the tile or the tracker as well. But it's a very welcome service nonetheless. So the card itself is actually quite minimal, which is nice. It's about 50% thinner than tracker, and it's almost 76% slimmer than the tile slim. And it's only barely thicker than a conventional credit card and so should easily slip into any conventional wallet without any troubles. It even fits into the main sliding compartment without any trouble, though for those who owned a secret wallet, you probably should remove one or two extra credit cards, otherwise it's gonna be quite a snug fit. 
It's made of a pretty flexible plastic, so there's a decent amount of give, and overall it should be able to cop quite a decent amount of abuse. It's rated to be waterproof too, so if you're unlucky enough to leave it in your jeans and throw it in the wash, your Aussie dollars and the Orbit card should survive. But in the short couple of weeks that I've been using the Orbit card, it's worked pretty reliably in terms of Bluetooth connection and accuracy of location. So the truth will reveal itself over time to see whether or not it stays that way. The selfie remote function is also a nice touch. So if you want a slim and elegant way of adding a little bit of smart connectivity to your wallet, be sure to take a look at this product. You can pre-order the Orbit card from their website today. It starts at around 50 Australian dollars or around 30 US dollars. And you can land yourself a discount if you want to buy more for your friends and family. Links will be in the description below. Anyway, what do you guys think? Do you guys own a similar product? Will this be of any use to you? Let me know in the comments section below. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, be sure to give us a like, and if you haven't already, do consider subscribing. As always, thanks again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Say good day, mum, for me. Cheers.